Hey everybody, got another uh, another free mat podcast here. I'm even gonna put my hat on. Who cares? You know what? I I didn't plan it that way. Just forgot about it. But dark times outside, barely see the sun. You know what? It's black hat time. But I did want you to laugh at this. This is libertarian. I'm a libertarian podcast talking about libertarian stuff, and a lot of the borderline moronic people around me in the burg of lower Mogadishu here. Here's the thing. The one thing they, they, they cry about freedom and cry about wanting independence and stuff like that. And they say, we're going to get our states to not observe this law. We're not going to do this. Well, we're going to end halitosis we're going to stop the government from, you know, stopping from having these passports. And we're not going to enforce gun laws. But the one thing these morons don't ever think about is they're beholden. They're beholden to, to the federal government for road money. They grovel for road money like it's going out of style. Every state does it. They love the grants. And you know what they've done in the past? They've threatened states' compliance over whatever subject, you name it. I think 21-year-old drinking, 21 year old drinking age, and I want to say it was one of the southern states. Eh, we'll look for the research after this video. But the thing is, they're going to hold you, they're going to they're gonna get it out of you. And you're like, if it's not road money, they can shake you down for health care money. And most states, they're, they're needing... They're, they're probably getting grants for this. They're getting grants for that. The local government loves some, loves some grant money. Oh, we, we've got a federal grant program to have a, more officers in the school. And I'm like, okay, we'll not put cops in your school anymore. But that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, Matt, I can't believe you'd say that. That's different. No, it's not. What is, what is liberty? Is it depending on a bunch of other people for, for your life? It's called you getting off your rear end and doing something. And that's why these people shake you. It's a shakedown. They get your compliance for their money. And you know what? They'll give you more money. They'll they'll dangle more money at you and you're, you'll jump and you're giddy. You're giddy. You'll jump up and down. Oh, God, I got free money. And we're like, but it's no fair. It's not fair. We can't. Okay, we'll do it. We want more school money. And, and you're glad you're, you'll love your, your senators. You'll love your representatives saying, oh, we're going to do something. I got money for my community. I just made everybody sell out. And you know what? If you sell out for something, for money or for grants, I mean, schools, your other things that you won't deal with in your own life, yeah, you're a sellout. And you know what? You grovel and... You get what's coming to you. And you know what the next thing is? It'll be something like gun safety. I'm not even telling the federal government how to do this. But it'll be gun safety. We'll withhold this if you your states don't ratify this. If they don't... This new bill about gun safety. We have to worry about the children. There you go. And you know what? It'll be something else. They'll blackmail. They'll uh, use emotional blackmail you to get get to do things you probably a shouldn't be doing or b don't want to. And you know what? You deserve it because you won't fight and you're cowards. I'm sorry. It's there's conservatives around me. They're that way. And you know what? They don't do anything for their own communities. I got a government to do that. I'm like, but you want freedom, but you want the government to do things for you. That doesn't make any sense. But you're you're lazy, and you won't get involved with your own community because you want to watch NASCAR and golf on the weekends. And you ask me, you're like, well, you're not the one to talk. And I'm like, I really do get involved. I do I do plenty of things. I would love to find other ways to get involved that made sense in my community. And you know what? Yeah, I've told people get involved. But I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to do that. Shut up. Well, anyway, here, 
without getting too far off on a rant, guys, the whole thing about this, you're, I mean, it, it, it's a stopgap measure. And these people, they, they play the, the same chess games you play. And it looks good for the clickbait conservative things I've seen pop up in my email for some reason. I guess being a gun enthusiast means you want to read that crap. But all of a sudden, yeah, you're you're going to fold. You you won't ever get mad enough. People keep you drunk and, and let you watch TV. You'll end up 60 or 70 years old. And yeah. You're, you're like, oh, you're not the one to talk. Oh, don't worry. I'll die eventually. Heart disease comes to the good ones. I think I'm a good one. You'll 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 live long enough. You'll be seventy or eighty, and then you'll be at a nursing home that the government paid for, because you pay your taxes right instead of you paying your own bills. But 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 that's not fair. Yeah, it's fair. Just just get off of it. Where's where's Michael Jordan? Stop, guys. Just stop. Yeah. I mean, won't live your own life. Make your own decisions. Depend on other people, and they get their pound of flesh, man. And you know what? I don't feel sorry for you. And then when you screw your kids and your grandkids, not physically, I meant financially, just like your grandparents did. But, yeah, you get what you want, man. And you know what? You won't fight for it. It's like the pot and the uh, frog in the pot of water. Just boil a sucker one degree at a time. And you know what? You won't get mad enough to you won't get mad enough to call your senator. You'll sit there and cry, send me an email and whine about it. But you won't even email your own senator. You won't send him about three or four letters telling him he's full of crap. And you sure as heck wouldn't even travel down there to threaten him. I'm not even supposed to encourage you to threaten me. But if you sent me an email saying you're full of crap and I'd knock your teeth loose, I'd respect you. I really do. At least I know what you say, but you wouldn't even tell your own senator that. So I don't respect you. And here's the thing. These, th those, those bills, the, those bills like that without any real action behind it, without the people actually backing it and just shaking their heads going like the bobbleheads, I almost call them chicken heads, but it's a different thing. But the bobbleheads like, oh yeah, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad. And you know what? It doesn't matter, man. You're, pot, you're a frog in the pot. Just go back to go back to watching golf, man. If they legalize weed, I don't even think you'd care about that. You'd be too stoned to watch golf. Whatever. As always, guys, go below. I think there is the notifications. Subscribe. And there's a like over there, I think. Uh, way down below, Twitter, Gab, uh, what's the other ones? Parlor, whatever. Uh, you can search around, find me on Facebook somewhere. Who cares? But uh, you know what? I even have a email address below if you want to send some hate mail. Feel free to do it. Go buy your own hat. Also, please take care of yourself.